Presented by Private Internet Access. Hello and welcome to another episode of We're All Satoshi. I'm Satoshi Nakamoto and today I'm talking to Satoshi Nakamoto. Hello Satoshi, nice to meet you. Welcome Aaron Koenig. You're the uh, founder of Bitfilm and you've just published a new book, CryptoCoins, Investing in Digital Cryptocurrency. Exactly. What's this book about? Well, it's my second book about this topic. My first book was more about why Bitcoin, Yeah, why do cryptocurrencies matter? Mm -hmm. Bitcoin uh, and Austrian economics, that was the topic of the first book. And that was in 2015, lots of things have happened. Uh, I mean, I actually, I kind of underestimated all the other coins, so I was just too lazy to bother. But they have a more, they, they play a more important role now. I mean, all the Ethereum and you know, you name it. So uh, this second book, of course, it also contains Bitcoin. And it's, it's both books are for beginners, right? That's very mm -hmm. important. You don't have to be an economist or cryptographer. It's really for, you know, your parents and your girlfriend, or whatever. So that's what I, and, and this book is, uh, I think it's more practical because the why I think I have tried to okay. answer in the first book. This is more the how, yeah, the really how to get a wallet and how to store your Bitcoin safely and what to, what to avoid. Yeah, all these scams, of course, I write about right, that. So right. it's a pretty practical beginner's guide in a way. Lovely. Let's, let's come back to how the practical yeah. things. You mentioned Austrian economics. Is mm -hmm. that how you got into Bitcoin in the first place? Yes, yes. I think it's, um, I think for mo most people it's the other way around. I think most people get uh, into Bitcoin because they are fascinated by the technology or they're into software. Right, and, and then, then learn economics. And then they think, okay, but what is, what is money? Yeah? Right. They come to that. And with me it was the other way around. Actually I was always interested in money. I mean, don't get me wrong, not just making money, just also the, the, the phenomenon. Concept, yeah. uh, for instance, I lived in Brazil uh, when I studied and that was the time of hyperinflation. So we had like 30% inflation. Uh, it was a very interesting experiment. I mean, for me, it was nice. Yeah, I had Deutsche Mark. <laughs> I felt like somebody owning Bitcoin in the time when the Euro was going down because right. that what happened to the Brazilian currency. And in that time, I, I went to film school and we made a little animation, like silly animation with like coins. And we even had a sequence drawn on uh, banknotes, on Cruzeiro <laughs> notes, which it was an expensive film. <laughs> no, not that one. It was a like one minute animation, kind of fun. But um, looking back at it, it was kind of a very nice metaphor on inflation. Yeah, all these jumping coins and, you know, worthless paper money. So I already had that connection. And another film project in, I think it was 2009, just after the financial crisis, uh, was supposed to be about money. Yeah, it was, never really realized it, but it brought me to interview very interesting people, mm. to read lots of books, you know, Murray Rothbard and uh, Ludwig mm. von Mises and you know, all these famous Quite, uh, guys, yeah, yeah but, which are not very famous in Germany, not even in Austria. I mean, no, hardly anybody knows leaders, them. Yeah. And, uh, and then I got deeper and deeper into it. And then like two years after it, um, I think it was the first time in May 2011 when I got aware of Bitcoin. And first I was quite skeptical. I thought, yeah, interesting, but mm. shouldn't it be backed by gold? Shouldn't it be backed by silver? I had this like Austrian old fashioned mm. perspective. Unfortunately, I could have bought it for two euros. Yeah, I, I, I remember uh, reading your blog post. Yeah, where you said just about just the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you were one of the first uh, authors. Uh, I, I, I read all your stuff, mm -hmm. and I was when when you said, oh, I've saved, I invested all my life savings in Bitcoin, and yep. the Bitcoin went down for half a year." I thought, "Oh, poor guy." <laughs> Well, no, I no, don't think that so anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't that uh, uh, risk risky. Um, I was more skeptical. It but I can, me, I can yeah. agree with you. It took me quite a bit to, to just put the pieces together. Like, mm -hmm. where does the Bitcoin come from? What is what is money? Where does a euro come from? Yeah. As in, f you're going from this concept, where does a Bitcoin come from? And then you ask yourself, but where does a dollar come from? Exactly, yeah. So you just start going down this rabbit hole. And when it all connects, and most people sh don't. Most people think, uh, still think it's kind of whatever, backed by gold or when you go to a bank and get a loan that somebody else uh, saves it and gives it to you. And nobody knows or very few people know that the banks can create money out of nowhere, out of right. thin air. Right, and then it out of interest. And it's, and there it's, would be and, riots. And it's shocking, yeah. I mean, that's what Henry Ford, I don't agree with Henry Ford on many topics, but this thing that if people understood our monetary system, there would be a revolution yeah. tomorrow. And there is a revolution. It's, it's a good one. You yeah, know, it's, it's just not a violent one. Yeah, it's a good revolution. And you have these meetups right here in Berlin. Berlin. 
uh, called Private Key. Yeah. Or, and they've gotten so big, you even have to change venue. That's that's true. I mean, we, we've we started that, uh, that meetup in June of 2013. Mm -hmm. We then called it Bitcoin Exchange Berlin because the original purpose was that people could come buy and sell and not for for making a big business. Yeah, it was more. It's actually the idea of Satoshi Square from New York. Mm. I just thought that Satoshi Square is a bit of an insider name, so we wanted a more explanatory name. So, but then we had guests and talks, and now it's more like a. We have lots of talks. Yeah, it's uh, different to the Stammtisch, yeah, this mm. big old, the mother of all meetups in Berlin in room 77. We come and meet and have a beer, but there's no way that somebody gives a small. talk. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's noisy. It's just a different concept. And we always wanted to reach new people. Mm. We want to be open. We want to always want to have talks. And uh, you were a guest. That was very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, uh, yesterday we had even three three talks. So mm. I presented my book book, and somebody talked about Dash, and somebody talked about ICOs and that was one reason why we changed the name from Bitcoin Exchange Berlin to Private Key because Private Key obviously has something to do with crypto. So if you know it, you know how important Private Key is, uh, but it's open. Yeah, it lets room for to talking about other coins like Dash or Steam or whatever. And it's um, and also if you want to do it in another city than Berlin, because I don't think I will live here much longer. Oh, okay. So and yeah, if I want to like uh, you know do it in another place, I, I don't have to change the name again. Yeah, that's, <laughs> and I like the name. It's kind oh, of private. It's it's all about privacy, right? It's it about is. Pr uh, private privacy rights and liberty. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. about money. It's about liberty.